Hey everyone, Doug here. I have something for you. I have got a free piece of software that I'm making available as of today. Uh, you can go and download it right now. It's a piece of software for Windows. Sorry Mac users, I have not made a Mac version, but it's called DJ Drive Tool and it's a data recovery slash maintenance utility that I wrote for myself years ago and I use it all the time and I thought why not make that available to people for free on the internet, especially my YouTube viewers. So so here we are. So let's just take a look, go straight to the website and take a look about what it has to say there. So a shortcut link to get here is djp.li slash drive tool. Otherwise you can use that address there on the screen, djprod.biz slash drive tool.php. And the interesting thing about this is the screenshot that you see on here will probably be different by the time you actually even watch this video because this software is under constant development. I'm probably never going to be completely finished with it. I'm always adding new stuff to it. Uh, I originally started out as just a way to wipe drives and the data verification and some of the other fe other features have been added later. So don't be surprised if you when you download it, it actually looks a little different than what you're seeing here. So there are three main functions for the software. So let's kind of go over each one of these very briefly. So verify disk integrity. So the idea here is to not just read from the disk to make sure all the data can be can, can be read successfully but also to write data to the disk and read that back and make sure that what was expected to be written to the disk is actually what's coming back so I'm making sure that there's no integrity problems with the disk itself uh, it's got several different levels of verification that we'll perform ranging from a simple uh, wipe of or, or simple writing of your own data back to the drive and verifying that that was writ can be read back correct, uh, correctly to writing a couple different passes of random data and verifying that. All right, next feature, wipe data from drives. This is where this is where the software actually started. This is the first feature I put into it. So a drive tool will overwrite the data on your drives. So if you're selling a computer or, or recycling a computer, you know that that data can be, can't be read by anybody who happens to get their hands on that computer or that drive. So it will do a three different levels of security, ranging from just overriding it with all zeros to doing up to two passes of completely random data and it does so pretty quickly all right and then the third feature is to recovered damaged data now it's it's not as aggressive as some as some of the commercial tools that are out there but it does try fairly hard in order to get your data back so if you've got a drive that's got some bad sectors on it that are just not readable you can run it through this piece of software and it will try uh, it's hard, Depending on the, the capacity of the drive, that determines how many passes it will try and make in order to get the data back. But it's at least five attempts of every sector on the disk uh, in order to get that back. And once it has read it back, it'll write it back to the disk in order to make sure that uh, that can be read move again in the future moving forward. So um, now uh, let's just actually take a look at the software, and I'll go over some of some of the capabilities here. So. Uh, so here we go. So this is it. A pretty sparse user interface. I just kind of go over some of this briefly. So the first drop down here is the list of drives and partitions that are on your system. And you'll choose one of those in order to decide which, you're gonna, which, which uh, drive you're going to try and maintain. Uh, if the drive, list of drives changes, let's say for example you unplug or plug in a USB drive, you can hit the refresh button and it will re rebuild that list. It doesn't do automatically because it's actually kind of a time consuming uh, procedure. Then next line down below, we have a list of the different modes that are available, and I will cover those briefly in a moment. And then three different options down here, uh, write simulation. So you can actually test the software to make sure that it's going to function on your drive before it makes any changes. Uh, verification wipe, and make sure that any any of the wipe process, uh, the data is can be written back properly. And then wipe zero, which basically after the random overwrite of, of data during a wipe operation is written with zeros. So the final operation is always a, a wipe with zeros. Uh, these other boxes here are for uh, progress during an actual operation. And then you come down here, again, more status information. There's a second tab here for log information. So if there are problems recovering any data on the disk or even uh, initial failures that it later recovers from, those will, will be written in the log. So, with that said, um, let's talk about the different modes that are in here. So, there's a drop down here. So, we have read, recovery, refresh, wipe zeros, wipe random one, wipe, wipe random two, verify levels one, two, and three. 
Now on the website itself, I actually have a description of what each of these things does. So um, there are up to seven different, well technically eight, different operations that can be uh, can be done when it's doing the maintenance on a drive. First of those is to read user data, so read the existing data that's on the drive. And it does attempt to make m multiple passes in order to retrieve data. So if there's a sector that's a little bit iffy, it will try several times to try and retrieve that data. And we get to the wipe operation, so writing random data uh, in, in two passes, and, and each each of those write passes can be accompanied with a verification pass, if you'd like. Then we have a, a pass that will write just zeros to the disk, so leaving no evidence of any data whatsoever behind. And then restoring user data, the written user data that was read in the read, da read user data pass, and then verify user data is the final pass there. So make sure that the user data is actually still readable. So, so you see, see here, for example, if we wanted to take a look at the recovery, that does uh, it, it's basically there to try and rebuild any any data on the drive that's been that's difficult to read. So it reads the entire disk, but then if there's anything that's difficult to read, it will write that back to the disk, and everything else, everything that's read quickly and easily, it doesn't bother with the write because it assumes that that, that should still be fine, uh, and but with a recovery mode, if there's anything that does take a little while, it'll write that back to disk and then that is a verification um, right after that to ensure that so that the newly written data is correct. Now if we get to the wipe operations, uh, you see that it doesn't read bother to, use, to read user data because that's intentionally going to be destroyed. And then we, we write random data for uh, one pass in this case and then two passes in this case with an option to do a verification on there. So making sure that the, verific the, the data that's written to the drive is actually the data that's read back from the drive. And, and then there's the option to write all zeros uh, after writing that random data. And the verify modes here down at the bottom, levels one, two, and three, those are just basically different levels of how much data is written to the drive and verified with, with the verification pass. Now, the reason I'm bringing this up on a channel about video production is it would be really awful if we go and produce a video and we copy all these files to a hard drive and then give that drive to a client and the drive's not readable. If there's problems reading any of the files on the drive, that could be catastrophic and uh, could end up, end up costing us the job, if not if not the business, in extreme circumstances. So the idea here, something I do, is like every time I'm going to use a drive, I run it through verification pass, at least on level two. Uh, before I write any client data to it whatsoever. Even with that said, I always make two copies of user client data uh, as well, just to make sure that it's not going to get lost. But I had a situation a couple months ago where I bought a brand new drive, and it came in kind of late. It arrived the day before we started shooting, and I didn't have time to do a verification pass. And wouldn't you know, on the day we were shooting, discover... The, well, everything seemed to write okay to the disk, and then at the end of the day, when I went to make a second copy of it, some of the data was not readable. And there was a sector, and there was a group of sectors on that disk that were just not readable. Had I done the verification pass before, I would have known that, and I would have avoided using the drive, uh, and av have avoided that problem. Now, in, in the end, I didn't lose any data because I had another copy as well. Uh, but still, I, I at this. At this point in time, I do not put any drives into service without running data verification passes on them. And so that's why I thought, since I've got this software available, make it available for you guys, not just viewers of the channel, but feel free to share it with other people as well. Uh, so just really double check and make sure that all your drives are solid and completely free of defects before you put them into service. Uh, it also has the recovery modes, and I have recovered data a number of times, not just for myself, but for others as well. I've got about 30 hard drives sitting on my workbench right now uh, that I've been doing verification passes on for, for a friend of mine. So, any, anyway, um, so just we'll, we'll just do a sample run through on here. Uh, I've got I've got these SSDs here and this USB adapter, and I'm just going to do a quick recovery pass on this, or at least get it started. We won't have time to watch the whole thing. But uh, so start by selecting the drive. In this case, it's drive number one. Select the recovery mode. And then hit go. And at this point, it starts 
reading the data from the drive, and if it encountered any that's difficult to read, it will then do a write pass because this is the recovery mode and that's the way that that particular mode works. You can see as it's going that it updates the status in real time. And uh, so this is the total amount of data that's written. If you have a, one of the options where there's multiple passes involved for the writes, you'd see that the write number here could be considerably larger than the size of the drive because it is doing multiple passes on that. Uh, this particular operation, the, this, this drive is fine, so we're not going to see it have to do any writes in this particular mode. But uh, let's cancel out of this and do, we'll do a refresh mode, which reads everything, writes it back to disk. So we'll start and go, and there we go. Now we can see that it's writing to disk. Uh, and it's doing pretty, doing so pretty quickly. You can see that it's reading at 250 megabytes per second, and and writing at 193 megabytes per second. These are actually older SSDs, so this is their top rate. This is as fast as they go. If you got a faster SSD, the software basically goes as fast as the drive is capable of going. So um, it uses some nice large buffers in order to make sure that uh, the data uh, can be read, read, read and written as fast as possible. You're not waiting on the software uh, in order to perform operations. So. So that's kind of the gist of it. So the software is available for free right now. Um, and I say free, I mean free for any use. So home use, business use, Fortune 500 use, whatever. I don't care. Uh, you can use it wherever you want. And I'm making it available completely free for everybody. Um, that said, if you do happen to use the software and you find it useful, uh, please consider making a donation. This has taken me a lot of time and I will be spending. I will be putting more time into it moving forward. I'll be adding new features and bug fixes or whatever else is required in order to keep it going. Uh, so please consider making a donation. There is a link right there on on that particular page. Now I'm sure some of you are asking, why in the world would you trust a drive maintenance utility written by a video production company? Well, the answer to that is because my so my, my my background is in software. I've been doing software longer than I've done video. And not just that, but I have a, a strong background in data recovery and maintenance. Uh, in the late 80s, I wrote a, a collection of software. It's called, it was called the MOS Disk Utilities, which did all, kind, all kinds of data recovery and maintenance. So there was a disk defragmenter in there. There was uh, tools for recovering fat tables and recording, uh, re recovering, recovering uh, deleted data and a bunch of other things. It was a, com a comprehensive data uh, recovery and maintenance suite. And I, I sold that and, and partially paid for my college with, with sales from that. A few years later, in 90, 1997, I released a piece of software called Fileback PC, which is data backup software. And that software was rated one of the 10 best, 10 best pieces of software in 1998 and has been used by many Fortune 500 companies and several aspects or several different entities that are part of the U.S. government. So I've got a very strong background in data recovery, data maintenance, hard and just hard drive, uh, communicating with hard drives in general. So, so hopefully that makes you feel a little bit better about using a piece of software from a company that main purpose is doing video production. But uh, but my my personal experience is is very runs very deep in doing data recovery. So hopefully that will alleviate some of your possible concerns there. So. Um, so anyway, so yeah, software is free. It's available now. Um, you will see regular updates, at least for a little while. I may get tired of doing new features here for a bit, but uh, I will be. Do I know at least for the next little while, I'll be still adding some new stuff to it, making it a little bit better. And uh, if you guys have feature suggestions or whatever, be sure and let me know that as well. Uh, I have to apologize to Mac users. It's, there's no Mac version available for this. It's only on Windows. Uh, I am primarily a Windows guy, and I don't spend enough time on Macs to justify the time to rewrite this uh, on a second platform, especially since it's available for free. So um, anyway, so again, if you have, guys have questions, let me know. Uh, be sure and share this with your friends. I also appreciate likes and shares on this video as well. So uh, if you have any other things you want to share with us, please leave those down in the comments below. So anyway, that's that's it. Go go to the website djp.ly slash drive tool, download it, and give it a spin, let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you later.